Welcome to another Friday Fraud Law Review. This time we're talking about Connecticut, Bridgeport to be exact. And this individual, a gentleman by the name of Trovoy Dixon, nearly 31 years old. Way to ruin your life there, Trovoy. Um, he pled guilty, so I had no problem putting his name out there. Apparently, according to court documents and statements made in court, in 2021, a bunch of unidentified fraudsters, they call them, partook in a scheme to defraud the SSA using stolen identities. This is interesting. So they would contact the SSA, I guess by phone, posing as like real life social security recipients presenting the SSA staffer with the confidential personal information that would confirm they are who they say they are. Apparently that's not fail proof, right? They would give social security numbers, date of birth, et cetera. They would have the SSA staffer change the legitimate recipient's banking information um, for their direct deposits. You know how nearly everyone gets it by direct deposit. If not, they're getting it by a social security debit card uh, through a banking institution that's working with the SSA in that regard. Um, my mother uses the, the debit card. So they would have the banking information changed so that the monthly payments would be deposited into bank accounts controlled by the, the scheming parties. Wow. So in August of 21, Mr. Dixon um, was contacted by phone by one of the schemers using a Jamaican-based telephone number and was asked if he wished to make money by moving money. He agreed, stupid, and was instructed to open bank accounts that he would control. Wow. So that's how they do it, huh? After monies generated from the scheme were deposited into his online bank accounts, he would withdraw the cash from the accounts and use the commercial money transfer services to wire a portion of the cash to designated bank accounts in Jamaica or Mexico. Mr. Dixon, the fine specimen of a man, he's not admitted that he consciously avoided learning the monies were illegally obtained. He consciously avoided learning. Is that an oxymoron? <laughs> consciously avoided learning that the monies were illegally obtained. Sounds like you knew they were illegally obtained. I think what he's saying, I, I consciously decided not to do anything about it. Although in time he knew them to be and ultimately kept close to half of the monies for his personal use. Oh, that's better. Between, okay, summer of 21 and summer of 23, That'd be 2023 last summer. More than 300,000 was deposited into bank accounts that he controlled. When the accounts were closed due to the suspicious fraudulent withdrawal activity, Mr. Dixon opened additional accounts to continue his illegal activity. He pled guilty, guys, to one count of money laundering, which carries a maximum term of imprisonment of 20 years and he agreed to make restitution of 161,000. Agreed to make restitution for 161,000. Didn't they say that he, he received over 300,000? So I'm curious, why the 161? What's the rest of the bonus? I, I don't know. Um, one count of money laundering. I mean, I know it was a play, so they cut out some stuff. I, I'm so curious. June 30th is the sentencing date. I went, again, I don't ever see that stuff. Maybe we will. I should mark it on my calendar to check on June 30th to see if the OIG does the follow-up to this report. Because, I mean, I suppose if he gets 20 years, if he gets the max for the one count of money laundering, considering he did it many, many times. All right, maybe 20 years is enough. The coot will get out when he's in his 50s. 
Oh, no, no. Yeah, in his 50s. But it just seems weird. But I guess when you play, that's how you get someone to accept the police. They don't have to spend time trying them and all the money on the taxpayers, blah, blah, blah. But I hope he gets a nailed with the full 20. What do you guys think? Full 20 for what he did? Oh, am I being mean by saying the full 20? He's 31. He knew better. He wasn't 18 or 19 when his brain hasn't properly formed yet. He obviously wasn't stupid. He knew, to, uh, knew how to avoid things for a certain period of time. Hope he gets nailed. And I don't like any of that for good behavior business. It's the real sentence and call it a day. Anyway, what do you think, guys? Mr. Connecticut Trovoy Dixon. All right, bye. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching that um, and, and any of the other videos. Um, just going to alert you to if you haven't already heard, um, we now have memberships um, that provide benefits of more interaction um, of any questions you may have or issues with Social Security that you may want and that would not otherwise be feasible under a consultation um, with me, the attorney on any particular issue you want. So if you look at the join button, if you want to find out more about it, and it's completely optional, uh, just in case anybody needs it. Um, and it will help us to help some other people that otherwise can't have representation. So if you look at the join button underneath the video, you'll find more details. Thanks so much. Bye.